Rise and grind gears. My name is Tetsumi, and welcome back to episode 18 of our Terraria 1.4 Calamity mod playthrough. And first things first, before we even get into any of this episode, if you haven't checked out my last episode, go ahead and watch that because it was a honestly very, very fun episode to record, and I think that transitioned very well in the recording. And also, we did a little bit of trolling. If you guys can, you know, see around my character, we got a few few new additions to our team here and technically <laughs> technically we are not even supposed to have these girls in terms of progression we um we did a little bit of trolling last episode so as you can see we um kind of jumped ahead just to just an eensy teeny little bit and uh went and just fought the lunatic cultist skipping what one two three four five six seven bosses along the way just did a little bit of trolling as as the kids say these days um <laughs> <laughs> but it was very fun, and that allowed us to basically upgrade our gear just a little bit. I also transitioned myself into pretty much a full summoner build, just because I thought it would be fun. Complement the new brand new accessory that I got, which is the Heart of the Elements. And all in all, it was just a great time. But in today's episode, we are going to go back to the normal Terraria progression. I know, unfortunately. But we are going to be going ahead and taking down Astrum Aureus here, and also Golem, except we are going to be doing it in a little bit of a backwards order from what our boss checklist here says. We're going to be taking on Golem first, and then moving on to Astrum Aureus, and honestly, that shouldn't pose, like, any sort of a problem for us. I mean, at this stage in the game, if Golem can give us any sort of trouble, then, like, I think we would have no business even trying Astrum Aureus if we can't handle Golem right now, uh, because Golem is just always a pushover. But with that being said, now that I got that out of the way, we can go ahead and just take a look at our to-do list. I probably should have did this while I was explaining the plan for the episode, but you know what? It is what it is. So as you can see here, we got fight Golem. That is the first thing we're going to do. And after we fight Golem, if we hopefully get the pick saw, which is the pickaxe you get from Golem, we can go ahead and mine ourselves some Scoria ore, which is back over here in the abyss. It's uh, all this red ore that you see lying around. This is Scoria ore, and that will allow us to craft the next armor set that we can get, which is going to be the hydrothermic set. And the hydrothermic set should be pretty cool. Uh, because if we take a look at that, there is technically a summoner helmet to this set. So hopefully with this, we can upgrade our set from the um, the Tiki set that we have on right now into the hydrothermic set, which should hopefully do do more defense. Because if you guys don't remember in the last episode, we switched from this Reaver set to the Tiki set so we could, you know, transition our build from just a normal build to a summoner build. And this Tiki set gave us four extra minion slots, but it also decreased our defense by like 20. Uh, my defense is back up at 100 because I reforged everything I had to warding. But before that, it was like 80 points of defense. It was great. So I was getting kind of smacked around a little bit. So hopefully if we get this new set here, then we should also get a decent uh, defense buff with that. And then after we do that, we can go ahead and craft ourselves some life alloys, which is basically just uh, another crafting material. But I figured we can go ahead and prepare some of that in advance. Or maybe I'll do that off camera. Who knows? But I'll just, you know, list it here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then after that, the third and final thing I wanted to really craft this episode is going to be this right here, the Resurrection Butterfly. And what this is, is this is actually going to be a summon weapon that we can craft after we get some Scoria Ore and then Bars. And what was it called? Resurrection, right? Uh, where... Did I spell? I did not spell right. There it is. The Resurrection Butterfly. So this is 94 summon damage. Uh, it's kind of hard to read here, but it says, Remembering the melancholy of human existence, even ghosts stray from the path of righteousness. And what it does is it summons a pair of butterflies to fight for you. And uh, I thought this looked really cool. I mean, it's just like a... It's just like a paper fan, so <laughs> I figured we can go ahead and craft that, check it out, and all should be well and good with that. And then after we do all that stuff with Scoria Ore and Golem, we can go ahead and fight Astrum Aureus, and after we fight Astrum Aureus, we will have the ability to mine Astral Ore, and that's probably where I'll end the episode. I'll either mine on camera or off camera, do whatever, but that is the roadmap for this episode today. And with all that being said, there's one final thing I wanted to do before we actually get into the golem fight, and that is just talk a little bit about my summon weapons up here, because as you can see, I have a few more in my hopper right now that I wanted to share with you guys and also just talk about. So first, I went ahead and crafted myself the Dreadmine Staff. Let's see if I can actually show you guys how to craft this. Yeah, here we go. Basically, it was just some depth cells and then some void stone, like a really simple recipe, and this thing is actually super super cool so i'll go ahead and just show you guys what it does basically it is a century uh type uh summon weapon i guess and it just summons a bunch of these like uh 
underwater mines and it's so cool and also these like seek in on enemies and do a lot of damage like you can see here it's like already just by itself doing like a thousand da okay well it's not all the balls are hitting it but it does a lot it does good damage it you just kind of trust me on that one basically it spawns these mines on background walls or on tiles and this is kind of a suboptimal place to spawn it actually i can show you guys down here and this is probably going to be a better place if i spawn it down here you can see it's spawning it's spawning a, a good amount of them and they all seek in do a lot of damage so that's just going to help us a lot i probably think in the golem fight specifically which will be great for us we got ourselves the tiger desert staff i said that backwards uh, but this is just that, um, you know, vanilla item that you get from the desert chest. And I thought this was pretty cool. So, you know, wanted to craft it also because I've never really played around with it before. But basically, you could just summon this tiger thing here. And uh, the more summons you give it, the stronger it will become. So I think that is probably the max summon I got from it. And uh, as you can see, it's doing around a thousand damage per second. And it also gives me these like balls above my head that do something i think I, I really don't know what they do um <laughs> but i just kind of wanted to play around with this guy because he was pretty cool although in all honesty i probably won't use him uh also can i um, this guy is so loud because i can hear all his mines exploding so i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him up there so we don't have to listen to all the mines exploding and then next and the last thing we got is the divine stardust cell staff because i had enough um vortex start stardust i had enough stardust fragments to actually craft myself this thing and this is just really cool i mean this is just like a vanilla weapon right but like i love this thing so much and it does like pretty good damage we're at like 14 1500 like this thing is great so i might switch into using this as one of my main summon weapons but uh, honestly who knows um but i will honestly probably favor this one over the stardust dragon staff just because i like the range on the the cell staff more and also i think it's probably more beneficial to have multiple split up summons like this as opposed to just one like a long single summon because that means you can attack multiple different enemies at once but with all that being said now now that we talked about our weapons a little bit let's just go ahead and go straight into the golem fight and honestly probably take him down first try because golem is a pushover all right gamers and here we are so honestly i think we're just pretty much ready to take on this fight i'm pretty sure i already got rid of all the uh the traps in this room so i think i can pretty freely just go ahead and walk around and yeah as long as not many of these guys spawn in i think we honestly should be fine so with this fight wow i'm why am i already so low oh my god <laughs> this is why i need more defense that's actually crazy but as i was saying i think with this fight i am probably going to actually use the stardust dragon staff because i think in this instance because golem is largely just you know one giant hitbox i think the stardust dragon will be really beneficial for us so i'll go ahead and spawn the max of this guy which i think is eight or nine uh additional fragments which is awesome like look how big this guy is that's <laughs> that's honestly so cool um and i you know also i might as well just go ahead and put on that and uh, I will summon the Dreadmine staff right in the middle here. And you can see how absolutely crazy this thing is. I mean, like, oh my, look at how many things it spawned already. And with all that, let's just go ahead and go straight into it. So, bam, here is Gollum. Oh my, dude, he's already, his arms are already half. <laughs> dude, he, his, his arms are gone. His arms are, his arms are gone. Like, legitimate, it's, it's just his head. <laughs> Gollum. Go there needs to be like a mod that makes like golem the final boss and make him like actually a difficult fight because this is not okay uh can my staff stop attacking the head and start attacking the body please okay there we go wow you know what actually i kind of take it back this golem is a lot more mobile than he uh than he used to be look at this <laughs> okay you know what you know what golem okay you you have earned a little bit of my respect Enough to the point where I think I will grab a few buffs, and then we can go ahead and try that fight again. Alright, so I got myself some more buffs. Primarily, I just got a summoner buff and also a life force buff. And if you guys are wondering why none of these buffs have cooldown timers, that's because if you guys get yourself a piggy bank and you get 30 of a buff, you can put them in your piggy bank, and basically, they just become infinite buffs. Uh, this is a modded thing, not a vanilla thing, uh, but that is why that they are basically infinite buffs, which is very, very cool. Um, and I think with that, I should be fine to take this thing on again. 
Uh, I think I'm primarily just going to do the same thing, but give Gollum just a teensy tiny bit more respect as a boss, and I guess try and dodge more of his attacks. Uh, and also, one more thing I forgot to mention that I did is I upgraded to these super healing potions because basically, now that we got um, all four of the fragments, we can go ahead and upgrade ourselves uh, into super healing potions, which restores 200 health instead of 150. Wow. Wow. You know what? Golem? Golem, you hear that? I respect you. That was a good fight. And uh, to all you watching, I will be honest, that was not my second attempt. That was not my third attempt. <laughs> I That was either my fourth attempt or my fifth attempt. I don't, I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. Dude, he... He gets just so fast at the end, and for the life of me, I could not differentiate what was my minions' attacks and what were his, so I just, like, kept running into, like, everything, and it was not great. Um, but hey, you know what? We did it, and, <laughs> and I'm pretty happy. That was honestly a good fight. That was very, very fun. So honestly, Gollum, I will take that. Good for you. Uh, and we also did get ourselves the Pixar, so hell yeah. So I think we can replace that fully with this, right? Because this also does axe power. So yeah, there we go. Swag. And we can go ahead and open ourselves the golem treasure bag, which I don't really think there's going to be much in here for us. But three, two, one, bam. And uh, we got, hey, you know what? We got a painting, which is pretty cool. We also got the, uh, the earth staff, which, uh, you know what? I'll take it. This thing is pretty fun to use. Too bad I'm not a mage anymore, though. And uh, then we got ourselves like the shiny stone and some beetle husks, which is kind of like the normal drops. So... Honestly, it is what it is, but there we go. And with that, and now that we got ourselves the Pixar on our first try too, which is very awesome, we can go ahead and go into the abyss and mine ourselves some Scoria ore. So I think with that, I will either fast forward it or I'll just cut and then we'll have the Scoria ore. Uh, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet you guys back here when we can craft some of this cool stuff. All right, and uh, there we go. So that took, like, pretty much no time at all, and we got ourselves almost 500 pieces of this ore. Now, I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's really nothing else we can make with this ore other than the bars, but then the bars, as you can see, go into making all this very cool stuff, which I'm pretty sure we can make almost all of it right now. I think there's a, maybe a few things that we can't make right now. Or am I lying? Uh, okay, like... You know, the signal of Calamitous, I don't think we can make right now. But, like, I'm pretty sure, actually, most of this stuff we can make right now. So, maybe I'll go ahead and take a look at that off camera. But, for now, the only thing I'm really interested in making with this stuff is pretty much just going to be the armor. So, I can go ahead and pop all that in there. And I believe it was called the Hydrothermic Set. If I go ahead and uh, do this, let's see. Why can I not make it? What do I What do I need to make this stuff? I need... Okay, well, there, it's because, obviously, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't actually make <laughs> the bars yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Scoria, not with an H. No, no H, sir. All right, here is all of the bars. And I think we also needed to craft ourselves some, uh, what are they called? Like these cores of something, right? I don't know which ones we need in particular. So I guess I'll just craft a bunch of all of them. And then that should hopefully work. But I think that should be enough. And now we can go ahead and craft ourselves the hydrothermic set. There we go. So first, let's go ahead and craft the chest plate here. Then let's craft the leggings. Also, hopefully this thunder isn't too loud for you guys. It's kind of loud in my headphones, but like, I don't really know how that translates to <laughs> to the audio on YouTube's end. And also, because like audio is a little bit different when it's coming from like headphones directly rather than like a phone speaker or computer speaker. So I, I don't know. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's fine. I'm getting off topic. And then finally, we can go ahead and craft ourselves uh, one of these things. What is this? Is this part of the set? No, this is something completely different. Okay. 
So I believe we just want this one. And what this is going to do is 5% increased minion damage and increased minion knockback. And also immunity to lava, blah, 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 all that stuff. So this does minion damage. And hopefully, what I'm hoping is the set bonus will also give us minions or something. Because at the moment, the set bonus for the Tiki armor is four additional minion slots, which is really good. So if I go ahead and take this off right now, you can see my Starless Dragon is lower four by four minions. If I put this on, however, so let's go ahead and take a look at the set bonus. The set bonus is 40% increased minion damage and two plus max minions. Okay. Uh, Inferno effect when below 50% life. Summons Hydrothermic vet Vent to protect you. Uh, and you will emit a blazing explosion when you were hit. Okay. And Oh, damn. I didn't even notice that. This is, uh, this is the Hydrothermic Vent, it looks like. <laughs> cool. I wonder, I wonder what this does. Is this just like a little century guy? Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. What is bro? F what is bro aiming at? What is <laughs> bro is aiming at nothing? Okay, uh, I I see, I see what he's trying to do, um, but so far not a single one of these has hit this this guy. F you know what? Fair enough. I think probably for like a more mobile boss, I'm sure that's helpful. But <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's just. <laughs> that just does not that just doesn't really do anything for me but what i am really happy about is that it does give us two plus max minions it's not the four that we had with the tiki armor right but like i think this hat is probably going to be more helpful than the tiki armor and also what we're up to 118 defense with this if we put on the tiki set that only it really only gives us five defense really oh but it does give us max life you know what yeah, we're so we're up to 665 max life, and without it, we're 645. So that's probably that probably evens out. I mean, it also does still give me a little bit more defense. So honestly, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. I'm happy with this. A little bit more defense, a little bit more max life. Of like two less minions, but honestly, I think we can work around that. And finally, last but not least, a thing that I almost forgot that I wanted to craft was the resurrection butterfly, and also. I guess life aloes, but life aloes I probably just will craft off camera because like it, it is literally just me doing this, me searching life alloy, and then like they're right here. Like I can I can craft these anytime I want now that I got scoria bars, so <laughs> so that doesn't really matter. But the thing I wanted to craft, which is right here, is gonna be this resurrection butterfly. Uh, but unfortunately, I ran out of ectoplasm by crafting all the other stuff that I probably didn't need to craft that much of. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab some ectoplasm. I'm going to go ahead and craft this thing. And I think I'll just meet you guys at um, the, uh, what is this biome called? The, the astral biome, I believe. I'll go ahead and meet you guys at the astral biome where we can go ahead and fight Astrum Aureus. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I didn't even realize until I was like running through here. Uh, but this guy spawned. Um, I don't really want to fight a lunatic cultist right now, so I think I'm just gonna run away. He will despawn, right? Will he despawn? Or, you know what? I'll just die. That's fine. I'll just stand here and die. Please kill me. Please. Hello? Th th thank you. Thank you very much. Here we are in the astral biome, as I believe it's called, but honestly, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of calling it that. And I did manage to make myself the Resurrection Butterfly, so let's go ahead and disable my Stardust Dragon here. And let's see what this thing actually is, because it looks and sounds pretty cool. Okay, so it summoned a butterfly there. Did it summon two, or did it just summon one? It, it kind of looked like it summoned two, but I think it was just one. Uh, so I got like, what, two, three, four... I just got a ton of these guys. Wow, it's summoning a... Oh my god, it's summoning a lot of these! I think, I think it does summon two for every one minion slot, because there is a ton, <laughs> there is a ton of them. <laughs> oh my god. How do these things attack? I can barely even see it. Dude, I can like barely even see how these things attack. They're so fast. It looks like they just kind of swoop in on the enemy, but honestly, that's pretty cool. I think we're just kind of ready to, uh, to do this boss fight. I already made myself the summoner here. It, uh, enrages during the, oh, it rages during the day. What time is it right now? It is... Okay, so it is literally just now becoming the day. Um, will that be fun? You know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it safe because I don't remember this boss very much. Let's go ahead and wait for nighttime and then summon the boss. It's nighttime now. Let's get this shit. 
All right. Okay. So this is the boss I remember. I remember there was one that looked like this, and I'm pretty sure there's one that looks like a worm. Um, but wow, this guy's fast. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. But I think. I think I should be good. I think as long as I just kind of outspeed him. I'll be honest, though. I, like, remember nothing about this boss fight. Like, almost nothing at all. This, this might be a boss fight that was, like, kind of new to the Calamity mod when I when I kind of, like, ended my playthrough uh, back when I, you know, did my first playthrough of it. But, yeah. Oh, I did get the Rage already, though. And Adrenaline. Let's go ahead and pop those at the same time. Damn. Okay. Wow. Oh, I took a lot of damage there. Whoa. Wow, I did not... I am taking a ton of... You know what? I'm just going to fall back a bit, try and, like, heal if I can. No, I, no, I can't. No, I... That, yeah, that was, a, that was a stupid idea. Okay, so, uh, that, that attempt went pretty much the same as before, but that's fine. Because I just gotta, you know, understand his patterns a bit, but we're learning. Okay, <laughs> that was a that was a great attempt, and this time it, it was legitimately only my third time. So I'll take that. Hell yeah! Wow, that almost seems like it was a little bit too easy. I feel like I, I don't know. Did we like cheese him or something? Because like th th he like in the first two he was kind of like schmoving on me, but that time he just kind of just kind of stayed on the ground here, and we just <laughs> I mean we just destroyed him. But you know what? Honestly, either way, I will absolutely take that. That was that was a fun fight. And these butterflies, I mean, they seem to work really well. Honestly, I can't tell because, like, I was just kind of focusing on not dying. But I'll take that. I, I will definitely take that. So what did we actually get from that? First, we got these Titan Hearts, which is also used at the Astral Beacon. I think this is the material that we use to summon the... Astrum Deus, I believe. Yeah, it looks like you use a Titan Heart, and that's how we summon that boss. Uh, but can we make anything else with this? Um, we can make a, uh, it's a throwing set. Okay, unfortunate. We, uh, we are not a throwing class. I'm not planning on doing a throwing class this playthrough, uh, because what I would like to do is hopefully do another Calamity playthrough where I, like, only do the throwing class. I think that'd be fun, uh, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, and I think other than that, all we got was a treasure bag. So let's go ahead and open that. Three, two, one, bam. Ooh, we got a lot from that. What do we get? Uh, first off, we got these Aureus cells, which is just a crafting material. We can make a lot of... Or, nah, I thought we could make a lot of stuff with this, but it looks like it's mainly just potions, but that's it's fine by me. We got a summon weapon. Ooh, okay. Summons Aureus bombers to fight for you. The Aureus bombers explode on enemy impact. Does not, does not consume minion slots. What? So how many can I have? How many can I just have inf can I have an infinite amount of them until they start exploding? I see. I see. Okay. I see. So it's on a set timer. But this is this is sort of like the equivalent of a melee uh, not a melee a mage weapon as a summoner. Like I cuz I can just I can just spam hold this and then these will like seek on enemies and explode. Yeah, what? Okay, damn. Yo, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I don't know the benefits of using this as opposed to, like, uh, an actual whip, which is, like, what you normally use for the summoner class. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Up, oh, you know what? I guess I can test it out on some solar eclipse enemies here. Or, I mean, maybe not, because my, uh, my butterflies are kind of wrecking house with that. But, I mean, no, these things do seem to be doing a pretty good amount of damage, from what I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, that's really cool. Hell yeah. What else do we get? We got this glorious Auroractrial Aro Throw, which is a throwing weapon. Launches a star that splits after a short period of time. Star Split stars home in on nearby enemies after a few seconds. Stealth strikes, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Oh, this is really cool. Damn. 
Dude, the Throwaway class has some super cool and unique items. I, I'm very excited to eventually play with the Throwaway class because that just seems really cool. Next up, we got a suspicious looking jelly bean, uh, which is equipable. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's, it's a mount. It, it, what does it do? It, it, is it just like a mount? Like, this is it? Like, this is all it does? <laughs> okay. I mean, unfortunately, uh, it's it's kind of useless because, like, I have, you know, this mount. But, alright, pretty cool. Uh, we got the Arcane Grevistar Sabaton. Tap down the key to increase your fall speed for 5 seconds. This has an 8 second cooldown. Striking the ground will increase fall speed and cause an astral explosion. Okay. Uh, I mean, like, it seems pretty useless, honest. Oh, that's, damn, that is cool. But, honestly, it seems kind of useless because I already have boots as an accessory slot. Maybe if you could, like, combine this with something else, that'd be useful. But, it is what it is. We also got this Quiet Lanham, which, oh, I think I remember this, actually. I don't, I think this has a different sprite, though. Uh, but this converts certain debuffs into buffs and extends their duration. Uh, and also, this is an upgrade material, which goes into, yeah, the Occult Skull, which this I remember for sure. Uh, we also got this Starlight Fuel Cell, which permanently increases Adrenaline Mode damage by 50% and damage reduction by 5%. Hell yeah, let's go ahead and put that on for sure. And then I think these are the last two things we got. We got this Melee Damage thing, which is a Whip Sword that emits Particle Explosions on hit. Oh, hey, cool. This is a, a poor man's Solar Eruption, I see. Okay, that's, yeah, that's very cool. I love this thing. And next up, we got this magic damage, which fires a beautiful aura trailed by a star. What is it? Star shower. Oh, damn. Yo. Oh, this thing is sick looking. D okay. Dude, these weapons are so cool. Damn. I didn't realize that Astro Maria's had so many awesome drops. Yeah, that's, that's very sick. But gamers, with that being said... That is going to be the end of the episode today. Uh, I know there was one final thing on the to-do list, which was just, like, mine, Astral Ore. But I think we're going to save that for uh, in-between episodes. I'll just do that off-camera because it, it is just mining ore that's not going to be particularly interesting at all. So, with that all being said, gamers, that is going to be it for me for this episode. Like the video, like it, subscribe if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, the Solar Eclipse uh, shenanigans wasn't too loud and you guys could still hear my talking voice because it is super loud in my headphones right now. <laughs> but again, I'm going to stop rambling. With all that being said, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.